welcome back guys and welcome to robocop rogue city so apparently they just dropped a brand new playable demo for this game and apparently i've been trying to play it since yesterday and it just keeps crashing so here's to me trying again one more time in hopes that we can get this demo walkthrough out to you guys so welcome to the old streets of detroit You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move. What is happening? <laughs> Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. <laughs> what is happening here? We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. The hell Enjoy. is that? An EpiPen or something? New guy. Us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. <laughs> We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Oh boy, you need a new haircut. That haircut is wild. <laughs> That's a terrible haircut. That's like an insult to people like me that try to grow hair in the middle. You know? And he just takes it off and... All right, here we go. Robocop. Ooh. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. Report to the lieutenant. All right, so I'll be honest. I never really finished any Robocop movie. I know there's a couple, and I know people like them a lot. At least back in the days. So if there are some like Easter eggs or whatever. And I don't see them. But now you know why. My boy's got a fat auger there. Can I see my feet? No, I can't see my feet. The game looks nice. The ground shaky. Judgment day is here. This game's... I don't know why I'm getting like the uh, crime boss. Sort of... Uh, Vibes. Ladies. <laughs> the atmosphere is pretty great. 
Oh, we can walk faster. They came out of the trucks and they, they just started shooting at anything that moved. I can see your lady is still quite shaken up. I'll get one of the paramedics to check. Alright, let's keep going here. Alright, that cop car window is completely shattered. Heavy duty criminals here. The game's got like this weird stutter. Just. I don't know if you guys can notice it. Alright, so we're infiltrating Channel 9 building. Not really infiltrating, but. You know what I mean. Any longer, those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, after that, over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. <laughs> Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? <sighs> I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! She told him I was going to clean this place up. Oh my god. There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages. I, oh, so no hard feelings. Oh, first of all, a building of that magnitude. Hey, windows are impacted. Can't go in yet. We need to wait for the reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. Oh, okay. Robocop a badass. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me, but you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. All right. I've got a ticket for you. How much do you think I can get for it? Is it gold? It was taken off someone's finger. Just look at him. He looks kind of. He does look badass, though. Guys, guys, we've got company. Anyone expecting a silver freak? A silver freak? What up, Drop it, boys? <laughs> Drop it, I don't know. I find it kind of corny. Let's see how this plays out. Oh God, performance on this is terrible. <laughs> Why does it drop? Like when I shoot? Okay, maybe it gets a little better. Hold on, let's see. This game definitely needs to be better optimized. You might not see it, but I see it. I feel it. Micro SMG, you say? Ah, oh, that's pretty cool though. Another micro. I already have a micro SMG. Maybe that's just for ammo. Oh yes, more ammo. No more ammo. The music is nice. I actually really like how he highlights the enemies like that. That's that's pretty sick. That they included that in the game, you know? Him program. Press LT to use Robocop vision to investigate individual people or objects. Okay. And we've got my armor integrity. What is this okay this is a more uh i don't i don't think this gun will be better than mine but let's just try it out <laughs> yo this is hilarious where's the other gun where is it did i drop it stop shooting me damn it or i will kill you oh it's here okay you can't drop your gun it seems your primary Oh my god, this freaking SMG is nasty. 
Yeah, you cannot drop your primary handgun. Because it's a freaking cannon. It's a blast. Look at this. Ooh. Also, wait, their heads rip off. Oh, my God. That is nasty. Double time nasty. Oh, shit. Warning. All personnel evacuate immediately. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty. Warning. Might be a little cheesy, but this is pretty fun. Feels very arcadey. Worried about the weight limit? Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know? Mm. After you. Why, thank you. So kind. They sabotage the elevators in staircase two. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. I might actually play this game when it comes out. I think it's November. I don't know. I just... So far, it's, for what it is, it's pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see how this ends up. Stolen wallet. Crime evidence plus 25. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots... It says we take all. Apparently, you don't take the wallet back there. Bunch of dorks. I just realized this handgun is unlimited. Excuse me, unlimited ammo. We cannot let him pass. What up, boys? Oh no! Off with their heads! <laughs> Any more tricks up your sleeve? Uh, what a warm welcome, don't you think? Nuke evidence. Come on, guys. Yo, this that SMG is nasty. <laughs> One shot to the head and they're dead. Oh, I just broke the grenade. <laughs> oh, what is this? Night vision. Okay. Damn, RoboCop. I know I can press B to. Oh, that's the Robo. Okay. Dude, that's sick. I am unstoppable. I probably ought to put up my sensitivity a little bit. Oh, this guy got nuked. Cause of death, of death, nuke overdose. All right, we got some of this. I don't even want to go into my settings in case this game crashes. Oh God! Boom! Bro, those dome shots are nasty. Okay. If you think, oh wait, we can grab him. Come here, boy. What? What the? What the freaking? Oh my god! Yo, that's freaking hilarious. All right, we can punch. All right, let's try a punch. That's freaking hilarious, dude. Come here. To throw object, it says. That's not an object, Robocop. That's a human. Oh, he just disappeared on me. Over here, Murphy. It's that service box, isn't it? Hey, why don't you check it out? 
So the performance has gotten better now that we're here playing. Uh, so far, it just looks like a game that's strictly for like the fans, man. If you're a fan of this movie or of the movies, I can already see how you'll love this. It's not half bad. All right, so objects investigation. You can use Robocop's vision to uh, investigate objects and people. To find clues, investigate objects are marked with a question mark. Press LT while looking to investigate them. All right, we're scanning. We're scanning. Circuit, short circuit detected. I a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. Gum. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Hmm. I'm about to go watch the movies after this. Slime bags detected. <laughs> Just look at that, boys. The police dog and its bitch. Whoa, Not whoa. Which one is which? <laughs> You're gonna take that back. I think you guys need better hairdos. Put your punks. Yeah, scumbags. Fake ID. Man, I wish we had like an 8K or something. Criminating pictures, more evidence. Yeah, more. Oh, okay, this is good. Let me repair myself. One hundred percent. Oh, you guys are screwed. Whoa, whoa. Goodness. Wait, what is this? Throw it down. <laughs> Why did I see this sooner, dude? Right, hold on. There's got to be one of these dorks here. Oh, boys. <laughs> oh, my God. This is comical. Gosh, that's funny as hell. We don't use guns anymore. Now we use computers. Yeah. Maybe I should have arched that a little bit. Oh, hold on, let me grab this guy. What do you think you are? Huh? You think this is funny? Oh, there we go. Rifle 74. Ooh, shit. Oh, yeah. Got more evidence here. 
All right, now we got a little bit of a heavier weapon. A lot more recoil. What is he doing? Where are you going? Oh, I got to repair myself. Holy smokes. I just got hit with a fatty. Wait, you can throw them out the building? Wait, what just happened? I just broke the glass, but I wasn't... Nope. <laughs> Hold on a second, bro. Okay, give me a sec here. Scanning. Okay, that's... Okay. Do nuke. What is this? Disgusting. Punk power. Uh oh, something something's going on in there. Have no fear. The robo cop is here. Hold on. No, I can't do this. Sorry. Okay, so that's locked. When you face criminals, you have uh taken host who have taken hostages, you have only a few seconds to eliminate the threat and protect the innocent. Bro, that ain't no problem. Boom. Boom. Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages. One with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. Hmm. Thank you for that. Ah, we're not going to have much backup now, so now we're on our own. Got to be careful. Shouldn't be a problem, right, boys? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Man, his weapon is nasty. Just look who it is. It's Robocop. I, th I thought you guys knew that already. Oh my goodness. I feel like his gun is the best out of all of them. Oh, he had a grenade in hand. What a silly dork. Go ahead and recover myself here a bit. Yes. I do like how the walls break and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is sheet rock. That should be able to break easily. That's like almost paper. Anybody want some fire here? Yeah? 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 Look at all those shards of... Boom! Boom! I don't even have to aim. <laughs> this is so wild. Oh, damn, they threw that shit up in front of my face. Oh, that guy is loaded with armor. Right, let's repair here for a sec. You guys can calm it down, all right? Some of these guys are getting actually a bit stronger. Not the grenade, not again. Look at this guy. My gosh. Talk about taking a hit. 
All right, we should be good here, I think, for the most part. I love how this is unlimited. That's insane. Almost there. Oh! <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Could you get the napkins from the cupboard? Well, he's having flashbacks. What do we have? Oh. It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? Do I really have to? I wasn't playing in the dirt. Of course you do. No more discussion. Flashbacks for sure. Alex. Oh. What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. Also, James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer just like his dad. Also, it's going to be diving into his story as well. Oh, that's cool. Watch out! He's coming! One touch is coming! Not the hostages! Like the one that took soot. You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, shiny. Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her. I swear to nuke. I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. I swear to nuke. You got three seconds. Three. Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, it will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, James. Damn. You okay there, Murphy? Once. Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Interesting. Robocop. Rogue City. That's pretty cool. Is that the end of the demo or does it keep going? I think that's the end. We'll find out here. Oh, wait. There's more. What is this? I can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Can you take singles? Get back in line. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. 
Oh We've got a God. problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But <laughs> she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. <laughs> you, follow me. On the double. On it, Sarge. All right, let's get going. I like how they've added the uh, the broken piece of glass there that you can see in his face. You also see it on the HUD. Right, where does this guy go? God damn it! When will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Uh, sure. Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? <laughs> we wanted you to be safe out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, very fun. Oh my god. A little side activity, okay. There is my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Oh boy. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, wow. he wants to fix you. Wow. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better mm. be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Robocop evaluation. How many consumer product system? All main objectives complete. Secondary objectives. CV station seeker one found. Okay, so this is where you come to... Get an evaluation, I guess. Got an A rating, not bad. Skills. Each time you achieve a new level, you receive a skill point that can be used to develop your skills. Developing skills allows you to increase efficiency, obtain unique perks, and unlock favorable dialogue options. Oh, okay, shit. Huh. 
Okay, this is uh, a bit more than I was looking into. Wow. Okay, we'll go with vitality just in case. Or armor. What do you guys think? A little bit of armor? How many skill points do we have? Two. Okay. Let's go with uh, combat. And let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with focus, I guess. Yeah, is that good? Doesn't really matter. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, Everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh... My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side, your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... All right. Well, Sorry. I can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Let's get back to business. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be goners. It's crazy that this demo's actually pretty long. Where are we going? Murphy, could you please help me out here? Sure, dude. What? Seems to be the problem, officer. Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form <laughs> an orderly queue. What's up with that clown back there, bro? <laughs> my neighbors are hostile toward me. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fox. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway. <laughs> you do something about my neighbors. No, but I will let you off with a warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying hmm. the price for having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. A poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. 
I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so <laughs> here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence. You can hope for a reduced sentence. Uh, it's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'd be good to get back to jail. Life as a free man can be tiring. What the Take hell? Away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Hmm. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead. Whoa. Hours ago. What? Oh, no. Oh, man, that sucks. Why? Fuck. Thanks for the help, Murphy. Sure, dude. Alright, so report to the shooting range. Where the heck's the shooting range? Oh, down below. Here we go. Gotta make sure everything's up to up to speed. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Can't let that one like hit the front. That's what it is. Unless you want to try to break the record. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that we're good to go. See you in the briefing room. That was, that was that was pretty terrible. Not even gonna lie. Oh, I just can't do it. So, what's on no today's way. agenda? Murphy, the agenda is give me a hand. It's no secret. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? <clears throat> He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. Okay. You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. You're the precinct. How do I get out of here? Was it through here? Front door? Do I gotta go back downstairs or what? Oh, there's an elevator here. No. Oh, I'll talk to her. Let's see what she says. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no go for me. I'll be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. You better start doing your damn job, lady. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh, no. The smell is following Well, you. we're going downstairs I'm anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't matter. remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Should we bring him to the shooting range? 
look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty seats. Ah, uh, finally. Oh. Sleep tight. Don't let the bag bugs bite. Oh, we're getting on our car and everything. I like it. Cruiser's ready for you, Robo. Go get him. The fact that they let a robot drive is crazy. Out in the freaking parking lot, dude. You hmm. came to clean up this city, didn't you? <laughs> It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Look how nice this looks. Yeah, the city looks really nice. Can't even lie. Issuing tickets. Oh, because he's parked One right in front of the uh, is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Fire hydrant. That's so cool. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. Oh, you can God. start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered to Melissa Kuzak. The arcade? You piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information <laughs> can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. <laughs> Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? Oh, they look suspicious as hell. What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop. All right, so you can use Robocop vision to investigate objects or people to find clues. <clears throat> All right. Bloodshot eyes by sleep deprivation irrelevant to the case. Yikes. I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one but two of you? From now on, I promise, I will cherish you more often. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real life <laughs> TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, hmm. I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Alright, enter the basement. Let's go to the basement here. <clears throat> Where is the basement? Let's 
Slouching detected irrelevant to the case. What is this? Vomiting? Ugh. Expelled gastric contents irrelevant to the case. That's vomiting. All right, let's see. Nothing in there. Be cool if you could kind of like play some games. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. Okay. That will not be a problem. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world was that? Dear goodness. It's Robocop. Surrender your weapons. Don't do that. Light them up. Don't do that. Don't do that, boys. I don't want to use force. You guys are forcing my hand. Why are you forcing my hand? You guys are really just trying to kill a robot. Are you insane? What is that? Okay, that's a nine mil. Okay, no. We're good. We're good. Oh, you can grab a whole fucking chair. Okay. <laughs> I thought this was an arcade. This seems pretty illegal to me. Got some nuke. That's it. You guys are busted. Busted boys. Whoa. Nice. All right. Those are chairs we can grab. Got the pistol. More chairs. I thought this was like clues, but all of these are just throwables. <laughs> just throw shit around. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Open the door or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door. I'll shoot you. Have it your way. Sorry, boys. Nice little areas in the game, I'll tell you that much. It's pretty cool. What is that? Some sort of switch? Okay. What do we got here? Installation invoice. $60 desk button. 2,340 armored gates. Okay, thank you for choosing security innovation. I right, see so you need we need a better deduction level two required for that. You're near level six. All right, search for clues here. Here we go. Too many cops patrolling the place. Don't leave before the police informant talks. Suits order. Detox made the snitch two weeks. Use tainted nuke and crack him up. Ghost house down the street next to the train tracks. Okay. 
evidence. Pure evidence. Alright, I think we're good. New lead gain. Investigate the ghost house. Okay. So we gotta get out of here now. How do I get out of here? Same way we came back. I can't believe this is actually a demo. I mean... They've actually given a lot to, to, to play in the game. This game, I think, has uh, NVIDIA's uh, DLSS 3.5, too, which is pretty nice. Look at that. Look at the reflection. Just kind of wish I could see my feet. This looks really nice. Hello? Oh. You need to be taught some manners. You need to be taught some manners. Let's take a look at the area here. It's really nice. A lot of work went into the environment of this game. I'll give it that much. Dude, my boy's got a full freaking bird up there. Wow. Where is this? Who is that? There's somebody here. Is he stuck or something? Oh my. I thought that was an explosive barrel. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I'll take a micro SM. I think we got one already. Yeah. Should have thrown this shit in there from the beginning. What you boys are doing here is illegal. You understand? Let me get this AK here. I'm going to blow your brains out. Get over here. This is so wild, bro. Come here. You think you're funny? Huh? Trying to go against the law? Yeah. I didn't think so. This guy just kills anything. He's pretty nuts. Oh, we'll go up here. And you're dead. Hello? Fake ID card. Break it. Guys, I'm just trying to look at the area here. Calm down. Jump down the elevator shaft. Oh, God. You boys are done for. All right, hold on. Damn it. I guess we'll just have to breach it. <laughs> That's a lot more exciting. Your stupid little grenades. Come here. Let me 
get this. Repair myself. Oh, I cannot repair myself. What is going on? Oh my god. I don't know why I've been trying to like just get in there like I'm like I'm Rambo. I gotta keep in mind that even though I am a robot, I can still technically get destroyed. We shot that grenade in midair. Not half bad, Robo. Cop. Robo cop. Oh, that would have been cool if there was somebody there. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. What's that guy's oh. name? Pickles? Hey, I, I don't know how you usually <laughs> operate, but oh. that type of information don't come free. It is your duty to help. What is your freedom worth to you? What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? All right. Such as meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. Mm -hmm. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, the good business is where you find it. All right, let's get out of here. Cool story, Pickles. I think we've got one skill point to add to our... Yeah, let's do armor. Yeah, let's do... Wait. Did it not work? Yes. Okay, we're good. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. But funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And... I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though his missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police <laughs> tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh no. 
One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. All right. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but... Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, <laughs> over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Okay. Enter the building. We gotta go to the slaughterhouse, man. Apartment 21. Man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. Zit. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. It's one hell of a knock. Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. I would not let that shit in my house. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Mm. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. You believe that. Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Hmm. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction, that that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous. But he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? Pickles. <laughs> My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like pickles. That unappreciative <laughs> asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. Hey, I, I get it. I understand. I think I have everything I need for now. 
Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets mm. aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Hmm. Man, the, the design and like the houses and stuff like that in this game are not half bad. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. All right, now we got to go find this kid. A long ass we demo. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Ah, bummer. He's not here. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. <laughs> I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. Oh, shit. Man, look this at this. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Tell me, the game looks nice, man. Here we go. Shit. You want to do the honors, bro? No? Oh, man. Here we go. Daniel! Come on, kid. Where are you? What happened to this kid? Hope he's alive. This doesn't look good. Shoe print, size seven. That's got to be his. Up in here? Nope. There's a ladder up there. There's no way he got up in that ladder. Ladder unreachable by teens. <laughs> Scanning the dumpster. No clues or traces. It's got to be back here. Yeah. Vomiting again. Chalk pieces. Out the chalk here. <laughs> yes. Whoa. What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. Oh, don't tell me they shot him, bro. Oh. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting Yo, look for? at these thugs. Him up. He's laughing <laughs> at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, 
You're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. My <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. Damn. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. <laughs> right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. I feel like I'm playing the full game. Literally. All right, let's go and drive over to the old hey, slaughterhouse. Partner, what's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Okay. Off to the slaughterhouse we go. Okay, so this is the end of the demo. Oh shit. Those are some nice looking dentures. I hope they fit. <laughs> you know, this is comico as hell. So you can continue and explore this little area here and just continue doing these little side missions and whatnot. You cannot continue on into the main story, which is the slaughterhouse, because that's where the demo ends. But I like how the demo doesn't just abruptly end and finish off. You can still kind of stay here and continue to do other stuff. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy mm -hmm. car and fancy name, but I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. 
Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I can come back with a warrant, but then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? <laughs> this is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? Whoa. If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Yeah, so you see, you can do other stuff. That's pretty cool. Search for clues. This demo has a lot. Like usually a demo is like 30 minutes, 50 minutes. This goes way well over that. And if you continue to do all these other side missions and little objectives, you'll be here for two hours or so. Okay, is that it? Deduction level two required. Maybe upstairs. Mm -mm. Mm hmm. There we go. He did it again. Ben, I'm off tomorrow, but this cannot wait. I think Scott's at it again. You want to help that boy like you helped me and the others. I get it, but I'm still on parole. I can't be involved in any illegal shit, and Scott doesn't care about that. I saw him hiding something in his locker. He looked over his shoulder about it a hundred times, like when he was stashing those stolen radios there. You better check it out, or he might be in trouble. Now, well, we've got a clue that's been obtained. Confront Ben. Bastard. See... I told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. Oh, really? How convenient. That's his locker. Go on. Have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. All right, let's just keep that going. That is all for now. Hey, make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. <laughs> We're just going to keep going here. All right, we're going to end this episode here. Let me see if I can just finish off the stolen vehicle. And then we'll end it off on a good note. Let's go around here, around the block. I was not expecting this, this many options in this game. Not in the demo, at least. Oh, who's there? Oh, it's only you. Is it here? Well, I think that's actually where I was with this guy. That's um, the little kid's house. But an enter the garage here. Interesting. Stick them up, boys. Anybody here? Hello? Oh, God. I messed up good. Whoa. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. 
I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's going to fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it yeah. must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is gonna save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Oh shit, watch out. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only hide for so long. Oh, it's the metal pig. Blast it. The metal pig. That's it. Is that Scotty over there? Oh, come on. You're making this harder than it has to be, man. What are you doing? Here, yeah, where's Scotty so you can see him? You see, is this the guy troubling you, Scott? Is that him? There. Over and done. Good. You did it. They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please help me fix this screw up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Hmm. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. No hard feelings. Yo, kid. Boss was not impressed uh, with what you did with the SUX, but he's a reasonable guy and will let you keep your nimble fingers as long as you show up in the chop shop before nightfall. Oh wait, don't tell me you can <laughs> You can pick this shit up. Oh my god. And nothing happened to him. This game is destructive, bro. My goodness. Nice. Breach, lift the gate. Come on, boys. Bro. This is crazy. I don't even know why he said the threat was minimal here. Because it, it's really not. I think we're done. Let's go up top. Actually, it's probably in there. I know we don't, we can't jump, you know, Robocop, but kind of hate that. 
Stolen purse. Okay, is that all? Let's go this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, there it is. I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. I do not trust criminals. <laughs> you will explain yourself in court. <laughs> I knew I had it coming. You upheld the law. Sorry, bud. But you are a criminal. All right, so there's that. So yeah, there it is. I think we'll call it quits here, guys. This has been a little bit of the RoboCop Rogue City demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know again in the comments what you guys thought. I think it's pretty cool. And again, I think it's going to probably sit nicely with the fans or maybe not. Nonetheless, um, kind of glad I came over and checked it out after many, many attempts. The game is not perfect. You know, there's a lot of things that need fixing, but it was a fun little experience. So thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.